Hello, dear students. Today we are going to see lesson number two from our computer books, Understanding Windows. Now, to tell you in the beginning itself, I would just like to give you an example. Your parents take care of the house, right? If they are not there and if they ask you that for today, you take care of the house. It will be very difficult for you because you don't know what to do, how to do, when to do. But parents do it very well because they are running the house with a proper system. So systematic, being systematic is very important. And in the same way, a computer has a special set of programs which manages all the jobs of a computer and makes it run. So this is also a system which is known as operating system. So Windows, you can see this. This is called as Windows. Windows is an operating system. It is a rectangular frame that shows different programs on the screen. <clears throat> so today we are going to learn about Windows. Windows is an operating system. It is because of Windows that the computer or the laptop works well. Now, as soon as you turn on your PC or your laptop, this is the screen which comes in front. Okay, this is the screen that is visible to you. The first screen that appears is this screen and it appears with small labeled pictures on it. You can see there are some pictures. Maybe you have some other pictures, but it is the same screen. It has pictures. So this is called as the desktop. Okay. This whole space on the screen is called as a desktop. Then when we move forward, I would like to tell you about icons these are called as icons okay the small labeled pictures or symbols present on the desktop so this whole thing is the desktop and this labels present are called as icons these icons are used to open specific programs or documents when you click on it a program or a document opens that's why these icons are there on the desktop then moving down you can see this this line it is called as the task bar task bar is a long horizontal bar here you can see it is located at the bottom of the desktop it is there in the downside bottom this is called as the task bar on the desktop the last line is called as the task bar this task bar has a start button on the left hand side so this is the left hand side and you can see this is a button over here this is the start button okay see you can see here start so left hand side we have the start button and as we move to the left hand side uh, right hand side here is the clock you can see monday july 26 2021 so to the right hand side we have a clock the middle section of the bar so this is the middle section it shows labels for each open application now my chrome browser is open so it will show that it's open that's why it will be seen like this okay so the middle section shows the open applications to the extreme right side we have the clock and this the space over here this whole corner is called as the notification area here we have all the notifications now you can see the battery is being charged if you plug in a headphone it will show headphone is plugged okay then it will show to, to which wi-fi network are we connected so this notifies us everything and it is called as a notification area and in the middle we have the on the bar we have labels which shows each open application we can active the application by clicking on the button on the task bar. It allows us to quickly switch between two open applications. Example, if I open my computer and I just minimize it, it has gone over here. But if I want to show it to you, I will open another 
Okay, I open Firefox Mozilla. And then we'll just minimize and keep it so you can see it will be visible over here. See, can you see? So we can switch between this. Here I can click, I go to Fire Mozilla. Here I click, I come to Chrome. So this way we can switch between the open applications on the taskbar itself. Next, we'll study about the start button. So start button, as I told, is to the left hand side. The start button gives you a quick access to documents. You can click it and wherever you want to go, you can click and you can find all the documents here. So it gives a quick access to all the documents, window applications like these are all the window applications, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Notepad. OK, so when we see this, you can just go there and click it and open it. And it also has Windows help and support button. You can see this. If I click here, you will get a pop up, which will, which will ask you to find out what kind of help you require. OK. This is all about the start button. Now, if you want to open it, I just opened and showed it. But how will you open if you want to open it? To open the start button, you just have to bring this pointer on the button and press it when we press it it is called as clicking the function of pressing is called as clicking okay clear till here now let's move forward next thing which we will be seeing is how to select and deselect okay how to select an icon now what is icon i told you these are all icons how will you select Selecting an icon, you just have to go on it and click on it. See now, this has a different color, whereas all others have a different color. So this is called as selecting an icon. Okay, you just have to click and it will be highlighted. This is highlighted. Deselecting. Deselecting means we don't want to select it. So just you have to go away from that icon and click. It will get deselected and it will be displayed like the other ones. Okay, great. Now, if you want to select two, three items, then what you'll do? Two, three items which are close by. So click on the first one. Now, adjacent. Adjacent means all are close by. That kind of icons, if you want to select, what are you going to do is you will be clicking, uh, press the shift key, and then whichever you want go on clicking it okay so with shift you can click and select adjacent icons that is very very close by and then after you have selected all of them you have to release the shift key and all the adjacent items will be selected now if i want my computer jet audio and uh, mona lisa guzik these three folders or these three icons to be selected which are very much far away so i will not be able to do it shift key okay because shift key will take to all of them so in this case click on the first one control you have to press control and then whichever you want you can click see with control you can click on the icons which are far away and with shift key, you can click all the adjacent icons. Now, when you want to open a program, so how do you open it? The application window or any program, if you want to open, you just have to take the cursor over there and you have to click it. It will be highlighted and then press enter key. Okay, so it opens. Otherwise, you can just go on it and click it two times double click so it opens so there are two methods one is just click it and press enter key otherwise double click it and it will be opened now moving a desktop icon now i don't want my computer to be here i want it to go somewhere else so how do i do it so to move a desktop icon we have to follow these steps first 
place the pointer on that icon you want to move then press and hold down the left mouse button while you move the icon to a new place means you have to click on it <coughs> sorry and then don't leave your mouse just pull it wherever you want and go and leave it so it will be placed on that particular place wherever you want it to be placed okay after this leave the mouse and that icon will be on some other place next one arranging the desktop icons now you can see it is very well arranged all are in line <coughs> But if they are far away and very untidy, then what will you do? Okay. See, all of them are far away. So how do you put it neatly on the desktop? For arranging the desktop and you want the desktop to look neat, clean and tidy. So what you will do is you just have to go to the blank space and then right click. Yeah, when you right click you get this pop up after that you have to click on view option can you see this view after you click on view you will get auto arrange icons see here click on it and tada all of them are placed neatly on the computer next changing desktop background now our background is this windows we want to change it so what will we do we'll right click again the last option personalize click on it from here you can see desktop background click on it when you click on that you will get so many pictures whichever you like click on that and then you have to click on save changes and it is done we just have to close and check you can see it is done i will show you once again how to change the desktop background right click personalize go to desktop background you will get some options if you don't want that, you can choose anything from this also. So when we click on this, you will get so many different kinds of pictures. You can scroll them and check whichever you want. So I select this. I click on save changes. And then it is done okay this way we can change the desktop settings now changing the screen saver screen saver is something when you don't touch the screen of uh, when you don't touch anything or the computer is just open there so something can be coming up on the screen how do we do that again right click personalize then here you can see last option is screen saver i have none i don't want that's why i have none so when you click here you get a pop-up in this window you can see there are so many options here and then you can click on preview to see how it looks see here okay so whichever you want you can click on it and after that you have to do OK. OK. And then it will be done. So this is how we change the screen saver. After that, the last step, I will show you how to shut down the computer. You have to go to the start button here you can see shutdown option just click on it and the computer will shut down i won't be able to do it now because if i do that the computer will shut down 
and then everything will be gone. So now we'll be doing the exercises of this lesson. I want you to understand the lesson thoroughly and after that, copy the question answers. So, 